Hey everybody, it's me, Trish. And can you guess what this video is about? It would say in the bottom. Alright. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if that'll be like one of the thumbnails I can pick. Um, so I had a question before I showed you what I melted this month. Because if you were reading below what it says, you know what we're talking about. Um, would you, do you guys like me doing videos that are like, bam, I'm here. Or would you like to see like more edited type ones or anything like that? Comment below, let me know. But anywho, I'm going to show you what I melted for the month. Now, I have, I'm going to tell you the story first and then I'll show you what I melted. Now, yesterday, we had a wax in it. In front of anybody that doesn't know what a wax in it is, it's when something happens to whatever you're melting, burning. It, it just wasn't cute. So, um, if anybody watches my Dollar Tree hauls, yesterday I went to Dollar Tree and I was putting away, you know, my stuff, like the food stuff, and I had got the uh, caramel flavored syrup. I don't know how, but through a closed cabinet door, it decided to open the cabinet door, fall and bounce out, and then bounce into my warmer and wax was everywhere. I have to tell you, the awesome spray from the Dollar Tree <laughs> cleaned up that stuff like no one's business. And usually when I have wax, if I try to like get a hot paper towel, I try to get it off so it comes off easier because the hotter it is, you know, it will come off. But use the awesome spray, holy, yeah. So if you have any, if you melt wax, a lot of my stuff also is also soy based and um, soy based and paraffin soy based. So. If you melt any of that, this is what the this is what I used on that wax. If that makes any sense. Anyhow, we're gonna start with the sun shots, and then we're gonna go over to clamshells because I actually have a lot of clamshells. I've been buying a lot of clamshells, but um, you have to watch with your clamshell containers because some can start eating into your wax and taking the smell out. Just a heads up. So we'll start with the sun shots, and as you know, there's a lot of Super Tarts. So the first one is from Super Tarts, and it's my all-time all one of my all-time favorite scents. And I was shocked that this would actually be one of my favorite scents because of the name. But it's Fluffy Violet Candy. It's cotton candy, violet, and rock candy mixed together. It is the most amazing smell I've ever had. I even got um, a roll-on little roll-on mini perfume thing from Sassy Soaps that's connected on the Super Tarts Facebook page and it, the perfume is just as good as the scent shot. It was amazing. Um, the next one is another scent shot from Super Tarts and this is Stark. This had, um, was it raspberry and champagne and I haven't been too keen on like the bubbly type scents because root beer, some of these root beers that I've smelled, ugh. So I was like, I don't know how I'm going to like champagne, you know. But it was good. It's not overpowering and it's very sweet, but it's not like funky. Um, next one is from Super Tarts. And I love this scent. It's magically delicious. This smells exactly like if you open a bag, a bag, a box. Of Lucky Charm, you just put your face in it. That's what it smells like. I never thought they could make wax that smelled like Lucky Charms. <laughs> Crazy. Alright. Next one is another one from Super Tarts. And this is Genosha. I'm so bad I should have took all the uh, scent descriptions. But it's Genosha's like a sweet, like orangey, creamy, bakery type scent. Like, it's, it's really good. I've liked this since Brandy came out with this one. Um, this is Blueberry Corn Pudding from Candles from the Keeping Room. I have to tell you, I had another one that was like a blueberry corn one, and I didn't like it. This one was amazing. It's very close to Brandy's uh, Beast, which is a blueberry cornbread. Like, hers, I think, is a cornbread. This is a corn pudding, but they kind of, they, they're very similar to me personally so yeah that was really good blueberry corn pudding and then um anybody who watches other wax people there's a woman called Ange call i won this in her giveaway and she was talking about it on one of the wax boards and i'm like now i have to melt this now this is a cider mill from sensi it is so good 
And I was I was never really a big fan of Scentsy, but it's definitely the traditional like apple cider, cinnamony, nutmeggy smell. But it's not overpowering where you're like can you shut can you like turn that off, blow it out kind of candles. Like I hate to say it, but Yankee has very strong candles. I used to have such sinus migraines when I worked at the mall because of the smell would be emanate oh couldn't handle. I could do bed bath, bed bath, <laughs> bath and party works. I could do anywhere else. Yankee gives me the worst headaches ever. And like sinus headaches are one thing. Sinus migraines, you want to die. They are horrible. Cause you know migraines, you're like here, here, but then sinus migraines, you're like here, here, in your ears, down your neck, on your shoulder. Oh, it's horrible. Anywho, for anyone that does deal with uh, sinus uh, migraines or headaches. Um, during Christmas time, I know in my mall they have these things called herbal packs. They're like 12 or 15 different um, ingredients. And you throw them in the microwave or you can use them cold. I sold them a long time ago with a girl I was friends with. And I still have mine. And that's it's like over 10 years. 12, I think, now. I think. But yeah, I've kept them that long. Of course, my, my whole family's killed all of theirs. But mine still work. I have a shoulder one. I had a little... Actually, my little one just broke. So, it holds up. No, where was I going? Okay, next one. <laughs> As I'm rambling on. Um, it's from Super Tarts. And it is Flash. Now, this had a very um, citrusy bakery no i am so horrible if you want any scent descriptions on any of the ones that i'm showing you just comment below i'll let you know what the scent description is horrible oh and please everybody wait till the end because um if you don't watch my doll tree videos i've been talking about something and i'm gonna let you wax people know and get your opinions on stuff too so stay to the end please pretty please all right the next one is from super tarts and this is from their pink, uh, pink, February sampler, which was all pink combos. So this is pink peppermint, which I never thought, oh, it would be good if I showed you the back. Which I never thought uh, pink, pink sugar and uh, peppermint would go together, but it's good. It's a little overpowering if you're not like a minty pink person, but it's not, it's not bad at all. Oh, I was like, I'm missing something because I'm doing the scent shots first. Um, this one is from BZ Parts, which you got to keep your eyes open if you want to order from BZ. Because all of a sudden, people will be like, oh, BZ's open. You're like, what, when, how? Oh, and this was in um, Black Raspberry and Vanilla. I don't know what happened to the other side of the uh, tag, but it is Black Raspberry and Oh, it must have been the tape. That's what I've done. Because it, it was taped on. I got this from a D-stash. But it's black raspberry and vanilla. Really good. It's a light black raspberry and a light vanilla. It's really, really nice. Like, on cold, I wasn't sure. But when I melted it, I definitely liked it. And then I have... Oh, 1927. From uh, Vintage Chic, if it'll... Show up on the camera. Oh, there it is. From Vintage Chic. And I open it. This was so good. It had like a fruity smell to it and a kind of like a powdery perfuminess. I don't know. It was such a good it was such a good combo. I liked this so so much. So okay, we that's all of my sun shots and packages. And I didn't even notice cider. Well, actually, technically, that was a clamshell. But anywho, I digress. All right, moving on to the clamshells. I f saw this. This was on clearance, which my clearance was like 25% off. Anywho, so I found this on clearance. And I think I heard, actually heard Brandy talk about this in um, her melting videos or her weekly videos. What, what melt she was going to melt for the week. And I had to get it. And it's so good on cold melted awesome it was kiwi watermelon from sensationals so good um i'll right, leave that to last all right i'll go to the muggle melts this is one of uh one of uh brandy from super tarts her her mixes this was from the cheese ball line and this was muggle melts 
in butter bear it was so good it was so caramely and butterscotchy and that like mix it was so good all right and the next one oh my god i love this one and i was so sad because this was part of the wax that was melting while i was while when i had that wax in it can't talk straight and uh this one is from the clamshell the clamshell the cheese ball line the muggle melts and this was in hufflepuff now this is a yummy yummy smell this smell just like oh, so good banana cream pie so the thing was with this is I was trying to use the freezer method to get this out so what I decided to do is mix this with what was it oh this one that I just found which was the brownie pecan pie so good it was oh so yummy so so yummy so I was like oh I'll put a couple of these in because I wanted to smell it and put it with this oh my god good combo if you have this one you need to go to Walmart Get the brownie pecan pie, put it together, and mmm, yummy. Um, Alright, and then I used some of the uh, scoopable from uh, Brandy. This was from the cheese ball line, too. And this was in Princess Bubblegum. Now, I love Brandy's stuff, but I don't know. This has, like, the oddest smell to it. Like, it smells really plasticky. And her stuff is never like that. And I don't know if it's just me or whatever it is. But I think when I melt this, I'm going to melt this with, like, a vanilla or a something with it. And see how that works. Because, I don't know, maybe it's the it's the scoopable that I'm not used to. Because I've never had a scoopable wax. And that's what it's supposed to smell like. But it was really strong and plasticky. And that's never, ever, ever any of Brandy's stuff. Um, so yeah, so from now I'm going to melt this together. I'm not saying no try it. I mean, I've never had scoopables before and I don't know if that's what it's supposed to smell like. So, um, all right. So the next one, I've been getting really into coffee scents. Don't ask me why. I'm not a huge coffee drinker. I like coffee, but I don't drink it like three times a day, every day type of deal. But I saw this and I smelt it and I was like, Ooh, it's called coffee cafe. And it has spiced sugar cookie on one side and mocha, what is it? mocha frappe latte on the other side. It's like this. As you can see, I put like two of each in. So yummy. Oh, so good. Like it smells like you like went into like Dunks or Starbucks, got a coffee with an extra shot of this. And oh yeah, it smells really good. Um... I've talked about this before. This is one of my favorite scents. This is Coffee Cake Swirl from Sensations. So good. I melted this last month. Oh, just yummy. It smells like Cinnabon in a little container. It is so yummy. All right. And this is my last one. This is one of my favorites. And I didn't think I would like this because it has like a real strong pumpkin-y smell in it. But it's called a Thankful Harvest from Better Homes and Gardens. Oh my god. I can't e I can't even explain it. It's like it's like if coffee cake and carrot cake and pumpkin pie and yummy goodness all had a baby together, it would be this. Like and and cold is nothing to what it smells like when it's warm. It's it's totally amazing. I was totally totally floored with this one. I was telling every wax friend of mine, you have to get it. T take as many as you can. It's so it's it literally smells like like for Thanksgiving when the, everyone starts making pies and all that, and just like or you walk into a bakery to go pick up the pies that you're getting either. Like that smell of like all different bakery goods coming at the same time. It was awesome. All right, so that was all my melts and about the giveaway. I am having a giveaway. If you do not watch my Dollar Tree hauls, there's going to be um, some Dollar Tree stuff in there, which if you don't watch my Dollar Tree hauls, you'd be so surprised what you can find at the Dollar Tree now. But um, I also asked if any of my wax friends wanted me to put wax in the giveaway too. So if you think, well, what kind of wax do you want put in there if I do put wax in? Do you want jewelry candles? Do you want um, stuff from Walmart? Like... 
I just let me know below and the other part for the giveaway is I need you guys to make sure you're subscribed make sure you're public and you will need to be you would need to follow me on I just had a brain fart there for a second <laughs> you uh, need to follow me on Instagram and Twitter which I post um, down below it says please follow me and I'll have my Instagram my Twitter and if you ever want to email me my email is down there too so just make sure I'm not saying you have to but you might want to <laughs> I'm just trying to hit 500 subscribers 500 followers on Instagram and 500 followers on Twitter at the same time for a big 500 giveaway event extravaganza hoopla lots of stuff goodness I need a nap. Alright, but thank you guys for watching. Love you. Bye.